Hello again everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to try the 10 minute challenge with the pink stuff paste. To get this sink looking nice and shiny, are you pulling my ding dong? Absolutely no way. This is amazing and I'm so so grateful to those fine lovely ladies in the comments down below who suggested that I do this. So I'm giving it a go. I hope I do it right. Nonetheless, I'm flipping happy with how it came out. So first of all, I get a tea towel and I start drying it over, giving the sink that bit of TLC that it deserves, you know, dry it over and give it a little massage at the same time. Yeah, and then out it comes, that beast. Yeah, and then I was like, yeah, I need a cloth, don't I? Yeah, I've just washed them. It's good weather we've been having. I washed all my cloths, I did. So I thought, sod it, squeeze it out. Plop. Yes. Get that in there. I was having an absolute well of a time. I was having so much fun. It felt so strange. It felt like I shouldn't be doing it. But it felt so good. Like, mm, I've never had so much fun rubbing the pink stuff. You know what I mean? Never had so much fun rubbing the pink stuff. I was having fun. So I really got it on there nice and thick. And I thought, you know, the thicker the better, ladies the thicker the better i was pasting away like an absolute demon trying to get it all rubbed in there i know this is supposed to be quite hard um and you're supposed to be really gentle because it will like scratch and whatnot but i was going for it like it doesn't look like it but i was pressing on firm pressing on that pink stuff nice and firmly i was as i was giving it a good rub and i was going around all the corners as well yeah if any of you are listening to this and you're thinking of dirty things and you are dirty minded people because i'm not being dirty I'm being clean. I'm cleaning. And it's coming out a treat. So I'm having so much fun doing this right now. And I'm really looking forward to waiting for the 10 minutes to see the result because, you know, that's what we're doing it for. That's what we are here for. Buffering it about a bit. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I think I probably rubbed on it a bit too long. But it was like, you know, you got to make sure it's done right. You can't just leave it half done. So I thought, no, I best just keep rubbing until it's like I'm satisfied and I was quite satisfied so I decided right now we start the 10 minutes making sure I get all those little bits there that don't you know they don't want to be neglected you gotta hit all the spots and I hit all the spots there we go look at the mess it made look at that that's filth that is gonna go in the bin but anyway 10 minute wait there we go keep an eye on that quarter past seven and I decided in my 10 minutes, I'm going to, one, tend to the kids' demands, which bless their hearts. They love these. They're only like 95p in Morrison's, but they love them. It's the choco hoops. So Elliot likes those in a cup or a little bowl. And he doesn't like milk. He likes, that's a snack. He, like, he has it with milk for breakfast in the morning. But he likes, yeah, wrap up some sausages for when my other boy gets home because he's out with his mate. It's been five minutes and, yeah. I'm just, I'm just pottering about and I'm listening to Sabaton. So I'm having a little dance about a little, you know, sometimes I play the guitar. Sometimes I play the drums. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going with it and I'm rocking on. Um, I did actually do drumming lessons when I was younger and I flipping enjoyed it. I, my, the first song I played was Seven Nation Army by White Stripes and I loved it. I really did. I'd like to do it again, but I'd need to have a drum set at home so that I could practice and whatnot. But it's something that there's definitely no room for that in here. Look at me go. I was having so much fun. I gave myself cramp in my foot. Oh, it hurt. It really hurt. Shake that off. Carry on. Look at those dance moves. I'm sorry, but those dance moves, they are moves. So I'm still waiting, inspecting my handiwork. Yes. And for me, that's 10 minutes good enough. So yeah, we're on it. Now, I've said in previous videos that the said centre section of my was it called the drainer is that what it is the drainage part of the sink it's not connected underneath the pipework I need to get it I need to get it tended to my pipework my pipework needs looking at it does and um it's still not like got anything so there's a bowl underneath basically it collects anything that falls through it so I thought while I'm giving it a rub round what I really need to do is hose it over so to hose it over I need to hold something underneath because the bowl is just not going to hold the amount of liquid i've got pouring down that hole keep it clean so what i did was i thought i know 
after I've given it the old buffering all around, you know, really try and get as much of that grainy, like, it's really like sand. It's really, really bizarre. And good God, can you hear that motorbike? That's Nick coming back. I thought I'll get a jug out. I'll get a jug and I'll hold it underneath while I rinse. Yeah, I'm going to stop for a minute while he's doing that. Yeah, so as I was saying, the um, he's still going for it, but I'm going to be waiting here all night otherwise because... Um, yeah he just likes to play with his bike um as i was pouring it out there was like gunk coming out as well i was like oh but i really enjoyed it so i kept doing it because it was just really satisfying to see all these black bits floating around in the water and going down the drain hole yeah so i did that for a bit and then i moved on to the other side and yeah the thing i was gonna say it's gone out my head it came into my head it's gone out again oh i'm getting a tattoo oh i'm really excited i have to tell you so in um june I'm going to get a, a six incher down my arm and I'm really excited. It's going to be the Sabaton logo and I'm having it tattooed down my left, like the wrist part. <gasps> I'm so excited. I don't care how much it's going to cost me. I want it done. Arctic Monkey's on the other side. Sabaton on that side. Yeah. So in June, that's what's happening. I might go with my eldest son. Here we go. Fabulosa spraying that all over because it still feels grainy no matter how much you rinse this down it still feels grainy so i'm going all over it sprayed way too much but it's got to be done and i'm just going to try and get as much of it off as i can at the same time as buffering it and trying to give it a nice good shine because we want shine so just keep going around buffering and buffering and buffering and i could see the difference i was so happy I love little challenges like this and I actually want to do quite a few more of these sort of things. So if you've got any more tips to share with me for a shiny kitchen or whatever, bathroom, bog, I don't know. Look at it before. Look at it. You'll see the difference. Like you can see all like the watermarks and everything. And, and it has made such a difference because look at it now. Yes. Like I've still got little paint splats in certain parts of the sink which i'm only gonna get rid of if i get proper like paint remover and that's my own fault because i used to clean all my rollers and that in here but look at the difference i am so grateful to you thank you look at that i mean honestly look at that my little eight inch are i'm telling you now that's eight inches tickle 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 yes and there we go I'm going to throw away the yellow cloth because that's disgusting. I'm feeling extremely chuffed with myself. I'm feeling extremely grateful as well. So thank you. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying some new things. That one's going in the bin. Yes, it's gritty as hell. And these ones are going in the wash. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.